What's up everyone? Good day to you. Carpo here. I uh, had a quick message I wanted to share um, about emotions because I was thinking this morning about the roller coaster of emotions that we go through in daily life with work and home and life in general and uh, <clears throat> we tend to ride that crest when we're feeling really good. Um, we want it to last forever but we know it won't. But when we get into a, a bad state we tend to kind of dwell on it and uh, or can dwell on it you know and uh, let it affect us to the point where we think it's never going to end you know it's one thing to think happiness is never going to end but when you think that the, the bad times are never going to end then uh, it can be pretty rough uh, I've learned over the years to uh, let my emotions go but not to try to keep them shut out you know I like to ride that roller coaster it's like the ebb and flow of the tides and uh, it, you don't let your emotions dictate who you are or, or uh, your emotional state dictate who you are, but rather use your emotional state to better yourself. But use yourself to dictate your emotions, you know? Learn how to embrace things that once were negative and find them positive. And, uh, you know, that's just pretty much it right there. I just wanted to say that because I, I know how it is in the past. I've dwelled on certain things years in years past where some little thing would get to me and I, you know, it might be a job, something about a job I did. Usually it has it's work related often. I have a good family life. I'm very happy at home, but uh, the external world still affects me. So um, I, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm trying to keep my emotions up, you know, and keeping a positive at atmosphere as best I can. It's funny because I my wife had this idea a while back that I should. Um, this is kind of off base, but thinking about uh, applying for the Amazing Race. Uh, you know, a lot of folks might be interested in that show. Uh, I don't watch it myself. My wife likes it, but she said I should apply for it a long time ago, and I thought about it. And I said, you know, my brother and I could partner up, and that show would be fun. Um, so I'm going to. I'm going to send in a video and uh, an application. I did this once for another show. It was called Out of the Wild, which the show actually got canceled, I think, in the end. Uh, I almost got on the show. Uh, and I'm glad I didn't because that particular season was horrible. They went through some horrific stuff. And uh, there's no prize or anything. It's just about being dropped off in the middle of nowhere. So uh, most people weren't interested in that. More people are interested in The Amazing Race because you win cash. But I'm in it for the excitement and the fun. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to put in my energy and focus. And uh, maybe I'll get on. Never know. It'll be fun. So I hope everybody's doing well. Remember to keep those emotions up, and uh, but don't take my word for it. You know, only your own experience of your emotional state can really teach you how to deal with your own emotions. Because everybody has a different level of, you know, some people are very sensitive. You know, it's funny because my wife and I were talking about this, uh, how women are so much more sensitive than men in the sense that, you know, they react to things differently. You know, they'll cry about an Oprah show or something, and guys are just like, eh, whatever. I can be very sensitive. Sometimes I'll see something very small that'll really make me, you know, shed tears big time. Uh, just one little clip or a picture, you know, something, but it depends on the moment. So we have to remember that our emotions aren't just always going to be the same. Our reactions won't always be the same to one story. Sometimes we break down and it's not even why we were upset in the first place. So it's, it's a, what's the word I'm looking for? It's an undulating world.